Well, good day, everyone, and welcome to Common Prayer. Today, we're looking at Revelation chapter 9, which is a really scary and harrowing passage. In Revelation chapter 9, at the beginning, we see the gates of the abyss being opened. The fifth angel comes forth and he blows his trumpet. Trumpet blasts were used in the army to prepare the people for battle. And as the trumpet blast came, there was always something bad that would happen. There was always going to be dying and killing and pain. And that's what happens with the fifth angel as he blows his trumpet. The gates are opened, smoke comes out from the abyss, and all of a sudden these locust-type animals come, and they torture the people, and they sting them, and they hurt them. They torture them, but they don't kill them. It's a really horrible thing to happen to anyone. But we see that they attack only those who are not sealed. They're not sealed by the Lamb. In other words, they're not the people of God. They haven't turned to God. Instead, they work against him. They haven't gone towards the light. Instead, they've run away from it. Next, in the second half of the chapter, we see the sixth angel blowing his trumpet. The sixth angel sounded his trumpet, and I heard a voice coming from the four horns of the golden altar that is before God. It said to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, release the four angels who are bound at the great river of Euphrates. And those angels are released and they have the power to kill a third of the people in the world. It's really sad and it's really harrowing, but we need to remember that Revelation is written to people who are oppressed, people who are not doing the killing themselves, but who are being killed. And this is a reminder that justice is coming from the Lord. And the people need to trust in God's justice. And they need to trust that those who reject God, those who are punishing them and hurting their community, will be judged and will be judged righteously. And we also need to see that these aren't people who would turn to God if they just had enough evidence or they would love Jesus if they just had enough proof. These are people who reject God and refuse to repent. Verse 18 says, A third of mankind was killed by the three plagues of fire, smoke, and sulfur that came out of their mouths. The power of the horses was in their mouths and in their tails, for their tails were like snakes, having heads with which they inflict injury. The rest of mankind who were not killed by these plagues still did not repent of the work of their hands. They did not stop worship demons and idols of gold, silver, bronze, stone, and wood, idols that cannot see or hear or walk. Nor did they repent of their murders, their magic arts, their sexual immorality, or their thefts. Friends, my only encouragement for you today is to repent. All people everywhere need to repent. We need to run from the darkness and run towards the light. Repentance is a sailing turn. It talks about a sailboat changing its direction and sailing in another direction. Our lives need to change and turn in another direction. We need to reject sexual immorality. We need to reject slander. We need to reject idol worship. We need to reject worshipping things that we've made with our own hands. And we need to encourage others to do so. We need to pray for our unbelieving neighbours. We need to pray for our unbelieving friends. We need to pray for our unbelieving family. And we need to share this news, which is essentially good news, although it's so harrowing, that God will judge the earth. God will set all wrongs right. And those who refuse to run towards the light will be judged. And those who run towards the light will be gathered in God's arms and redeemed. And so friends, as you go about this important work, my prayer for you comes from Thursday morning prayer, and it says this. O Lord Jesus Christ, who at your first coming sent your messenger to prepare your way before you, grant that the ministers and stewards of your mysteries may likewise so prepare and make ready your way by turning the hearts of the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous, that at your second coming to judge the world, we may be found an acceptable people in your sight. For you and li live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, 
one God, now and forever. Amen. Well, have a great day, everyone. Keep repenting and encouraging repentance, and we'll see you next time. God bless.